Hi, Sarah. How are you doing today? Hi, Dr. Sam. I've been doing well. I've got a lot going on, but been incredibly busy, but you know, getting through the days and I'm just very grateful. I'm happy to hear you've been doing well. Uh, it has been a few weeks since we last saw each other. How was your job interview? It went really well. They had a lot of candidates, but I was one of the handful that was asked to come back in for a second interview. Um, after waiting around for a couple of days just to hear back, I was offered a conditional offer just to see if I pass all the background checks. Wow, that's great news, Sarah. Have you heard anything else from the daycare center since we last spoke? I did. They asked me to come back just last week, but I had to respectfully decline. I guess now with everything reopening, they need more staff, but they took such a long time to call back and I couldn't wait around forever. So I went ahead and accepted the other job offer that I got, which turned out to be a great decision because they pay and the pay and the benefits are much better than my old workplace. Wow. I'm very proud of your hard work and your perseverance. Uh, congratulations. Does your daughter know anything about this? Thank you. Yes, she does. Um, we actually had a conversation about this um, and about how I wouldn't be working at the same daycare that she goes to anymore. But honestly, I think she's just been too, she's just too young to understand what I am telling her and why I am telling her all of this. But, you know, I still told her. Definitely. It's important to have open dialogue with your loved ones and make sure that you both of you are heard in conversations. I'm glad you could have this conversation with your daughter and discuss things. I'm sure as much as a child can understand, of course. Um, how has your daughter adjusted during everything uh, during this time? She's honestly such a great kid. She really adjusted to all the changes so quickly and she has all her daycare friends around her. So she's happy and that's all that matters. That's great news. I'm glad that she's been able to adjust to the changes so quickly. And I'm glad to hear things are beginning to really turn around for you too. Let's review your homework from our last session. Uh, your goal was to strengthen your support systems. The first thing you said you were going to do was talk to your mom about the situation. How did this go? So I didn't get a chance to talk to her like I had planned right before my interview. I got a chance to speak with her after my interview. Um, so I caught up, caught her up with everything that has been going on. And I told her that I was called in for a second interview. And she was really happy for me. She was kind of upset that I didn't confide, confide in her right away. But as a mom herself, she could see where I was coming from. And she was able to just let that go. I see. I'm glad you were able to speak with your mom about this. And she hadn't been too upset that you weren't confiding in her right away. As a mom, I'm sure she understood you were just trying to protect yourself and your daughter in the situation. How do you feel about having the support from your mom with everything? I feel really grateful to have her support. I'm so glad she was able to move past me keeping things from her because I really needed her advice and her support. Um, I obviously feel very fortunate to have her in my life and talking things out with her definitely gave me a sense of confidence in myself. And that's awesome. You could communicate everything with your mom and she was really able to empathize, empathize with your pain. I'm glad you were able to find your confidence again after speaking with her. How do you feel you were able or how do you feel about where things are going for you right now? It feels great to finally be able to stand up on my own feet again and be able to provide for my daughter. All of this has been a blessing in disguise because if I didn't get fired, I wouldn't have found a better paying job opportunity. Life can definitely throw its challenges, but it's important not to lose focus of the things that matter the most to you. I'm very proud of your accomplishes, accomplishments thus far, and especially during such a difficult time for you and your family. In addition to speaking with your mom, there was another goal on your list, which was reconnecting with a friend. Were you able to reconnect with anybody? Mm -hmm. So I actually reached out to one of my friends and we were both able, not able to meet up due to schedule conflicts. And she's also a caregiver. So she's not really leaving the house just to be safe with, with the pandemic right now. Um, but we set up a FaceTime call and we were able to catch up. It was different than meeting up in person, but this whole pandemic has definitely taught me to be more flexible and adapt to situations. 
I can definitely understand the frustrations of facing time conflicts, especially right now with the pandemic and trying to manage the new normal. Um, but it's great that you were able to find some time for a FaceTime call. I agree, hanging out with our loved ones through video chat is rather different than meeting face to face. Um, despite how challenging the pandemic has been, I am fortunate for the lessons I've learned for navigating keeping connections. What did your friend think about the situation? Talking to her made me realize that a lot of people are going through or went through similar situations to what I went through. Um, the, de the pandemic has definitely caused a lot of chaos in everyone's lives. And at the time, I felt very targeted by the layoff. But she made me realize that the daycare probably didn't have much choice either. They made tough decisions based on the circumstances. So I really cannot stay angry with them. She was really supportive by listening to me, but at the same time telling me what I needed to hear. She really reiterated what you had said to me in our previous session, but I think I needed to hear it again and from a different person just to really process it. It is important to be able to talk with our loved ones and find safety in confiding with somebody. The pandemic has definitely shifted our perspectives for many situations, ones that we didn't really consider prior to the pandemic. And I'm really glad that you and your friend were able to come to an understanding of each of your own situations. It seems like the pandemic had caused a lot of chaos for both of you respectively. Um, what are some, what from our previous conversation did you find you were able to process better after speaking with your friend? You had given me another perspective of the situation and how it probably wasn't the easiest decision for the management to make either. But in my mind, I was still very angry with them and couldn't process why or how they came to the decision to fire me. So from what I'm understanding, it sounds like you were able to come to an acceptance with your situation. And despite the difficulties that it caused for you and your family, you were still able to recognize how the pandemic has caused difficulties for other people in different situations. Yes, absolutely. I think at first I was blinded by anger, but now that I've had a chance to really think about it and in a sense be more mature about the situation, I can see it clearly. One of the core values of the dialectical behavioral therapy is understanding that we are allowed to feel negative emotions without necessarily giving a reaction to the emotion. And it's important to recognize what is the wise choice to make for me in this present moment. And it sounds like from everything that we've discussed so far, you've really been trying to think about what can I do to help me in the present moment? Do you feel from our sessions together you have been able to see things a little bit more effectively for yourself. 100%. I have a way more positive light now that I did in our initial session. And I believe you. I've definitely noticed a complete shift in your attitude since our first session. Um, going forward, do you feel it's necessary to continue meeting regularly? At this moment in my life, no. And hopefully another situation like this doesn't arise where we have to meet regularly. No offense. No offense taken. The reason that I'm asking is because it seems like you have all the tools necessary to keep coping with your situation going forward. Do you feel you've accomplished now the two goals you've set out from our first session? I think I have definitely accomplished them and I hope to stick and continue to stick to those goals. And I'm so proud of your commitment that you've made to figuring out the ways to better your situation and to keep moving positively going forward. I hope you continue to stick with your goals and you're able to connect with more of your friends. Do you have any additional goals for the near or the distant future? I think for now, just to stay connected with my support system and not to unintentional, unintentionally sabotage things and to enjoy this new job. And I think that's a great goal. From what it sounds like, you just want to continue pra practicing mindfulness mm -hmm. and living in the moment as much as possible. Yes, absolutely. And it was a pleasure meeting with you, Sarah, and getting to know you over the past few months. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you, Dr. Sam.